I don't run the facility by myself. I, I could not do this without uh, Connor, Kayla, Ella, the Alvea staff, and my team um, remotely as well. They help a ton. If I were to sit down and think about it, I'd be like, oh, you know, I don't do a ton on a daily basis. And then if I sat down and really tried to write out what I did on a daily basis, uh, it would seem all of a sudden like a very, very large amount of things that I am responsible for, which it is. Day-to-day -day work is, is all over the place from permits to financials to legal to HR stuff to animal care stuff, to veterinary care. I'm responsible for like the daily care for every animal. So that means the cleaning, the feeding, just like the overall well-being for the animals. Um, and then training, making sure they're getting enrichment every day. I do animal care once a week. Um, I help with fundraising and I do content curation. I do site planning. I work with contractors to design enclosures. I work with other facilities to acquire our ambassadors. I help with training programs. I help with diet programs. I'm, I'm kind of just all over the place with, with all kinds of operations at Alves, but I love all of it, so it's chill. The whole origin story is I was doing conservation education at zoos and stuff like that, teaching kids about animals, and then I started streaming, realized I could do it on stream. Did a conservation podcast uh, where I talk to people about animals, but it's just not the same unless you have them uh, to teach people about them. So I wanted to start a sanctuary where we could have live animals to teach people online about them. I've been a part of Alveus from the beginning when Maya was doing all the planning, when she was making the business plan, I was there helping. When she first came out to the, this property, I came with her and pretty much instantly she fell in love with this property and very soon afterwards she ended up buying it and starting Alveus. I started Alveus in February of 2021. I came up with the idea for it in December of 2020. So it came together pretty quickly. I started working at Alveus last October of 2021, and it was really just because Maya was expanding, I think, at a rate that was just too fast for her and Ella to keep up with. She had a five-year business plan, and for the first three months of, of her building Alveus, she was chucking right along on her, on her business plan. She was doing great, and then she just got so much support from everybody on Twitch and she was able to grow this much faster. She blew through the five-year business plan in six months. There's a big gap in knowledge for conservation, especially in the demographic that's on Twitch. I used to get to teach a lot of kids in schools, younger kids about animals and about wildlife, but when they get older, the, the like 18 to 30 year olds that are on Twitch don't get a lot of that education, but they still need it because those are the budding consumers that are learning how to make their own choices about what they want. So I wanted to fill that gap. Um, by streaming. I met Maya when I was live streaming at the American Eagle Foundation doing a eaglet hatch party where I stayed online for 24, 48 hours so the eaglet merged out of the egg and Maya had been streaming for like three months and she started doing really well and blowing up and uh, some people saw that we were both doing birds of prey on Twitch and they connected us. I first met Maya through my previous job at the American Eagle Foundation, and it was actually through Connor. Uh, so Connor kind of ran the digital side of things, and he was trying to connect to a new audience at the American Eagle Foundation, and that's how he discovered and got involved with Twitch, and through Twitch met Maya. Maya and Connor did a lot of things together. After learning more about Alveus and learning that she needed some help, ended up out here. The biggest challenge for me working at Alveus is absolutely the heat. It is 100 or close to 100 most days. We measured the ground earlier, it's 130 degrees on the ground. So in the sun, you know, it's 100 degrees out right now. It feels really hot. My calves are, are baking right now. Um, but doing this for Maya, because otherwise I get fired. It's usually over 100 degrees and it's over 40% humidity every day in the summer. So it's hard to keep up with that for us and for the animals. Uh, a lot of Animal care staff's job here right now is keeping the animals cool and comfortable. So the heat is hard. Other than the heat in Texas, I would say it's a perfect job. Uh, I get to combine a lot of technology with animals 
and having a really awesome crew out here is, is great. Um, the team is, is fantastic. Myself and my wife really, really love working out here. I love working at Alveus. Uh, it's definitely extremely important to me for a number of reasons, and I think the biggest one is that I you know, have always wanted to be part of something that is capable of making a difference, making sure that these animals are taken care of and given the best possible life that they could have in captivity is really, really important to me. I think what Maya is trying to do through Alveus, with Alveus, for Alveus, um, the difference that she's making in terms of reaching an audience that has been very difficult to reach uh, and creating bridges to you know people of so many different ages and from so many different backgrounds creates an opportunity for us to do more in terms of conservation and I think that's really significant and it's something that's really cool to be a part of. Alveus is my dream um, hands down like wouldn't want to do anything else with my life and to found it at 22 I'm not 24 which is insane is unreal. <laughs> I've been working at zoos since college and you always have that thing in the back of your head when you're working at facilities of like, I wish I could do this on my own. I wish I could do this this way. I wish, you know, and streaming has given me the opportunity to found my own organization and run it how I want it and do what I want with it. So it is, it means the world to me um, to have the platform that I do and to get to use it for so much good. I feel like I'm really making the impression that I want to make and it, it really, truly feels like my life purpose, which I know is a little corny, but um, yeah, it, it means everything. I don't know, it's, it's all I've ever wanted to do. Um, so what actually is an educational ambassador? So an educational ambassador is an animal. Uh, in our case at Alveus, they're a captive animal, uh, non-releasable for one reason or another. There's a variety of reasons that an animal can be non-releasable. Our ambassadors here at Alveus, essentially, I like to think of them as bridges. When we're communicating with an audience, it's easier for people to connect to an animal if they see an individual. And all of our ambassadors are certainly individuals. Behavior is the study of one. Every single animal here has a personality. And we want people to remember them. So you can do a program about blue-fronted Amazons. Sure. And people might remember a few facts about a blue-fronted Amazon. But if you do a program about a blue-fronted Amazon and you have Siren with you, no one's going to forget Siren. So by having an animal that people can form a connection with and recognize an individual with, recognize an individual personality, you create the opportunity for people to become more interested and more invested in the conservation of those animals, which is the ultimate goal. So there's a great quote that I always reference when people ask me about the importance of what I do, and that is that people protect what they love, they love what they understand, and they understand what they're taught. And we're just trying to create a dynamic that allows people to learn and remember and get excited about things. Can you describe what it is like working with and for Maya? Oh, she's right here. Do I really wanna say that? I can wait. <laughs> no. Um. Uh, working with Maya is easy. <laughs> <laughs> she just gives you what you need to for you to succeed at your job and she listens to what the animal care staff asks or like suggests about certain things she gives us a lot of freedom when it comes to like training and providing enrichment and like changing diets and what we see best for the animals she has good time management skills when she says she's gonna do something she's gonna do it there's never a time when Maya's like oh you know that doesn't really need to happen uh, there's never a discussion like that with Maya. She's very easy to communicate with. She's very understanding where the animals are concerned, and that's really all I could, all I could ask. She has to be one of the best leaders that I've ever worked for, and I've worked for quite a few. Um, she, she just has that natural talent for some reason, and she gives you a lot of autonomy. She's very attentive to the animal needs, which for me and somebody who's in my position as animal husbandry and training manager, if I can go to somebody who understands that if I say, hey, I need this for this animal, and they say, got it, you know, we're, we're gonna make it happen, uh, that's easy. And Maya, coming from an animal background, uh, she understands that. Because of how well known she is, Alveus has been given a really good opportunity that a lot of nonprofits haven't. I think 
just excited to see where she goes over the next, you know, five, 10 years.